Imagine this. For months, Voyager 1, our most distant explorer and a spacecraft older than the internet, had gone completely silent. Over 15 billion miles from Earth, there was no signal, no data, nothing but a deep, chilling silence. It felt as if the universe itself had drawn a curtain. Scientists feared the worst. Had Voyager, humanity's most distant ambassador, finally died in the darkness? Then, just as hope was beginning to flicker out, a signal returned. But it wasn't what anyone expected. It wasn't a simple reboot or routine check-in. What Voyager sent back shattered a long-held illusion that space beyond our sun is an empty void. Because what it found was structure, pressure, movement, boundaries. Voyager had passed beyond the heliopause, the boundary of our solar system, and what it discovered out there was nothing like we ever imagined. Keep watching, because what Voyager is revealing about the interstellar medium isn't just astonishing, it's unsettling. It's rewriting everything we thought we knew about the galaxy. When Voyager 1 crossed the heliopause in 2012, it became the first human-made object to leave the sun's protective bubble. Many believed it would soon drift into silence, slipping into the vast, dark stillness of interstellar space. But in April 2024, after months of garbled transmissions and malfunctioning systems, Voyager came back online, and what it began sending changed astrophysics forever. Out there, beyond the influence of the sun, space is not quiet. It's humming. A low-frequency oscillation, steady and rhythmic, fills the void like the pulse of a living organism. Voyager's plasma wave instrument detected a kind of ambient energy, an invisible whisper threading through interstellar space. And that was just the beginning. The spacecraft also recorded sudden spikes in density, bursts of pressure that may be echoes of ancient supernovae. It's as if Voyager is drifting through layers of cosmic memory. Zones shaped by stellar deaths that occurred millions of years ago. This so-called void is not empty. It's a turbulent sea of invisible currents, pressure waves, and remnants of cataclysmic events. Voyager, our tiny robotic sailboat, is navigating this alien ocean, sending back data from regions we never knew existed. As it pushed farther, Voyager's instruments began painting a picture that no telescope could ever capture, a 3D map of the invisible. Its magnetometer detected a violent clash in magnetic fields where the sun's magnetic bubble ends and the galactic magnetic field begins. This wasn't random turbulence. It was patterned. Structured. As if the galaxy has a magnetic skeleton, vast filaments shaping where matter flows and where it doesn't. Voyager crossed one such boundary. It detected a sudden surge of high-energy particles, accelerated by distant black holes and long dead stars slamming into its sensors at near light speed. These weren't gradual changes. They were abrupt, like stepping through a door into another world. We used to think the heliosphere faded gently into space. Voyager proved it's not a shore. It's a cliff. And once you fall off, the rules change. Back in 2023, Voyager's mission seemed doomed. The signals were corrupted. The data unreadable. A memory chip, likely hit by a cosmic ray, the very phenomenon Voyager was out there studying, had failed. Yet NASA's engineers refused to give up. From 15 billion miles away, they rewired Voyager's software, rerouting it into backup memory designed in the 1970s. Using commands that take 22 hours to send and receive, they pulled off what felt like brain surgery through a time machine. And it worked. In April 2024, Voyager came back to life. First with engineering data. Then its magnetometer. Then the plasma wave instrument. And finally, the cosmic ray detector. With every reactivated sensor, the spacecraft gave us something unprecedented, first-hand readings from the dark ocean between the stars. Voyager wasn't just repaired. It was reborn. What it's sending now is more than raw data. It's a blueprint, a living map of interstellar space. Scientists are using it to chart a kind of galactic GPS, not for navigating planets, but to trace paths through radiation zones, magnetic walls, and plasma clouds. 
Voyager has passed through at least two interstellar clouds. Regions of denser material that ripple like invisible fog banks. Each had different conditions, temperatures, magnetic directions, and radiation levels, like continents with invisible borders. One day, these maps may guide future astronauts through safe corridors in space, avoiding deadly cosmic rays and navigating using natural magnetic shields. Even more exciting, Voyager's readings might help explain how stars are born. These filaments and pressure zones could be the very channels where material is funneled to seed the next generation of suns. We used to think of interstellar space as uniform and featureless. Voyager is proving it's anything but. It's a dynamic environment, filled with atmospheric-like structures, zones with pressure changes, eddies of radiation, and even weather. Yes, interstellar weather. Voyager has recorded sudden shifts in plasma temperature, particle density, and magnetic intensity. It's like flying through invisible pockets of mist, each with its own climate. These aren't random changes, they're structured and layered. Voyager is detecting the outlines of cloudlets, some dense with gas and magnetic fields shaped by stars that died long ago. Some regions emit a faint, low-frequency hum, like the distant echo of thunder. Imagine discovering ocean currents in what you thought was an endless desert. That's what Voyager is doing, proving the galaxy is alive, breathing, and sculpted by cosmic forces. One of the most mysterious features Voyager may now be approaching is the local bubble, a vast, invisible cavity in the interstellar medium, likely carved out by a chain of supernovae millions of years ago. Voyager's instruments are now mapping its edges, recording abrupt density shifts and magnetic field distortions. These are more than curiosities. Their scars, remnants of ancient cosmic violence still shaping space today. Some researchers believe Voyager is literally catching the echo of those supernovae, not metaphorically, but physically. Charged particles and magnetic shock waves from those explosions are only now reaching Voyager, after traveling across space for thousands of years. It's moving through a graveyard of stars, and decoding a story written in plasma and dust. But perhaps the most haunting revelation is this. Out there, silence does not exist. While our telescopes can't see anything in these regions, Voyager hears them. Its plasma wave sensors detect a constant, low-frequency hum, oscillations that vary slightly as the spacecraft moves through different regions. These are not radio emissions or background noise. They are the resonance of the galaxy itself, a kind of cosmic symphony playing across magnetic fields. Some scientists call it a galactic heartbeat. Others think it may be evidence of natural resonance, or perhaps something we don't even have language for yet. But Voyager is now part of that song. And we, back on Earth, are hearing it for the first time. Voyager's measurements are changing how we see the galaxy, not as a flat map of stars but as a terrain. A real landscape sculpted by radiation, magnetic fields, and the remains of stellar deaths. Imagine charting highlands of intense cosmic radiation, valleys where particles drift more gently, and invisible walls where long-dead supernovae piled matter into ridges. This isn't science fiction. It's cartography, frontier mapping on a galactic scale. And Voyager is the scout. These structures might not just be hazards, they could be pathways. Safe corridors between stars. Natural routes through space. And the way they shape matter might even tell us where stars will form in the future. Voyager 1 wasn't launched to find life or conquer worlds. It was sent to explore, quietly, patiently, faithfully. A golden-plated whisper from Earth, carrying nothing but questions and the essence of our existence. But now, it's giving us something more profound than answers. It's revealing that space is not a void. It's a memory. A structure. A force. Voyager is peeling back the illusion that we ever truly understood where we live. The heliosphere, our sun's bubble of protection, is not just a border. It's a cocoon. And beyond it is a realm shaped by ancient cataclysms and unseen forces. What Voyager has found isn't fantasy. It's not aliens or wormholes. It's reality. And it's more incredible, and more unsettling, than anything we've dreamed.
So the next time you look up at the night sky and see stars twinkling in the dark, remember, 15 billion miles away, a golden-plated traveler is still drifting, still listening, still mapping the unseen bones of the galaxy. And maybe, just maybe, it's reminding us that the real frontier isn't just out there. It's in our need to understand. If you've made it this far, then you're not just curious. You're one of the few who truly listens when the universe whispers. Tell us in the comments, what do you think Voyager will discover next? Hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications, because here on Space Loop, we're not just telling stories about space. We're listening to them. And Voyager is writing the next chapter.